what I what I see in um, in, in the Western civilizations, which which I'm part of, uh, has been a gradual trend over hundreds, thousands of years towards increased individual freedom, uh, towards removing the unreasonable power uh, of the state to intervene in our lives. This seems to have been the direction of Western civilization, except in one area where we've actually gone back rather than forwards in the last 40 years, and that is the area of personal individual use of drugs. Uh, it seems to me that um, if uh, we are not sovereign over our own consciousness, then we can't meaningfully claim to be sovereign over anything. It's useless, a complete waste of time, to indulge ourselves in all sorts of self-congratulation about how free we are, about how our democracies are a model of freedom, when we're prepared to send people to prison for exploring that most intimate, that most precious, that most sapient part of themselves, which is their own consciousness. I feel that the war on drugs, the persecution of individuals for exploring their own consciousness with drugs, has set in motion a huge reverse in the true direction of Western history pushed us away from the quest for individual freedom and pushed us uh, into, a pl into a place where we are empowering the state to control the most personal aspect uh, of our lives. And I don't think that can be good. I feel that it's a, a negative historical trend. Uh, and I feel that we need to wake up and do something about this because the struggle for freedom, for, for, for individual freedom, is perhaps the most important thing that Western culture has given to the world. We can't just let that go now uh, because of some sort of ideological hatred of drugs.